Hello YouTube, Tom Nagram here, bringing you yet another Let's Build Lego. Today is going to be this Ninjago Jungle Trap set, uh, mostly because I like a lot of the pieces in here, and I play this little, like, war board game kind of thing called Mobile Frame Zero. I'll put a link to it up top. Uh, go check it out. It's basically like a tabletop war game with giant robots made out of Lego. Although they're kind of small robots, not really giant, but you know what I mean. Anyway, mostly I bought this for all the cool little parts. But I figure, hey, let's do a let's build with it because some of these sets are actually really cool. Alright, so let's get right on into here. Let's get it open. Alright. This guy's kind of a small set, only 58 pieces. Uh, hmm. Got a full instruction booklet though. It's not just a basic little unifold manual, but eh, whatever. Instructions. Pieces. Alright, let's get these two bags open. Get all the pieces. You know, most Lego sets tell you to sort out the pieces, but. No, not most Lego builders. Alright, so let's see here. First step. Ah, yes, of course. Before anything, we have to put these guys together. Bandana. Looks like it goes on this way. Let's find out. This is head. Uh, I think so. I guess this is the good guy. This is the good guy. Oh, no, that's definitely the bad guy. He's got all tribal markings and stuff. Okay. Just gotta be the good guy's head. Okay. I'm gonna give him his hair. I actually really like the hair pieces that they've been coming out with recently for this Ninjago stuff. Mostly because of the fact that. It reminds me of the old Lego Exo Force guys. They're really cool. Alright, so. Yeah, alright, he's kinda cool. Got some cool anime looking hair. Sit him over there for now. I have to build this bad guy. Huh, where are his legs? Oh, there they are. He's got purple legs for whatever strange reason. His face. Ooh, he's got a cool... I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get that a little closer and get it to focus. He's got a cool little, like, snake... Oh. Well, that's weird. I didn't actually notice it had a hole on top of it, but he's got a cool little, like, bone snake skull thing going on. Alright. Fair enough. It looks like he gets an axe made from this bone. That's... Actually, fairly cool. Alright. Hmm. That is pretty neat. There we go. And a little bit. There we go. Huh. Got a cool little figure. Hiya. Alright. Now let's build the jungle shrine. Ooh, okay, his axe is a little too heavy. I'm gonna have to. Have him use it as a stone. Oh, it doesn't go down far. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. There we go. That'll work. Alright. So. Whoop. Big long, big rolly piece of rolling off the side of the desk. Alright, let's see here. So, first put this piece on here. Uh, and that guy goes there. And this part goes there, but we don't lock it on yet. Alright. Okay, now we lock it on. So, we'll take these guys and just. Oh, no, yep, 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 okay. Like that. Uh, put this guy here. That's interesting. I wonder why I just put that in there if we're not going to see it. So I'm going to assume there's some kind of secret compartment or something in this set somewhere. Huh. All right, let's see. So that piece goes there. That goes here. These guys go here, and then two more for the other side. Okay. Alright. Put the 
those guys on there. So that guy on top of here. Hmm. Very interesting how this set goes together. Right, just goes there. Okay. Hmm. Alright, now I'll take this piece. Pop that on there. Like so. Stick that on top. These guys in there. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And these pieces go on. These are really loose fitting pieces. What is it supposed to be super loose like this? Okay. And then what do I do with this? Oh, okay. So it just kind of goes in here. So kind of. Yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. It's got like a little gimmick to it. Alright. I can dig it. That piece goes there. Ah oh, yes, that's right, I remember. One of the big sticking points for this set when I saw it was the fact that it has... I'm just gonna get the camera to focus on this again. A Lego skeleton leg as the piece that holds the sacred weapon. And I think that is actually really cool. <laughs> Kinda silly, but still cool. And then I stick this guy together. And just stick him up on top here. Okay, now I make the cool glowy weapon. The whole reason I bought this set for these cool weapon pieces. And that just sticks right on there. Hmm. Alright, and then these two little jungle ferns kind of go on here. Oh, okay. So, ferns come out to space and then, wah, it's like a trap. That's cool. Alright, I dig it. This guy must be the guardian. And then we got uh, this guy, whose name is. Actually, say. Hmm. Oh, there you have it. Those are cute little Lego sets. Uh, it's kind of a different feel to it. It's very small, but it's actually kind of cute. Got the cool little ferns that come up here and block the shine. You can push them down and then access the shine. It's still ha ha ha. Crazy trap with the like rusty swords. Wow. But overall, it's a cool set. Um, the reason I got it was for all the little cool weapons it's got. Like these pieces here are really, really awesome little pieces. I feel like I could make like claws or something out of these. If I could get more of them, get my hands on maybe another one of this set. Uh, as far as like gimmicks go though, got a very cool one. I mean, this piece just kind of pops in here. And the fact that it's not like, it doesn't require any gears or anything to function. The fact that it's just like, push the button and they pop up, that's really inventive. Uh, figures are very cool. Gotten really, really detailed over the years. They've got back printing and stuff now, so. Yeah. I like this set. I like it's cool. Glad I picked it up. Um... Despite the fact that I bought this for Mobile Frame Zero pieces, uh, I still think I'm going to get a little bit of use out of it. Uh, the pieces I want, the thing, the little weapon, the, his sword, maybe this guy's axe. I might even use this headpiece. It'd be kind of cool on a robot if I could just find like a base non-colored head to stick it on top of. Like a cool like robo crown thing. Um, but otherwise, I mean, take those pieces that I want away, this is a kind of a nifty little terrain piece for, uh, Mobile Frame Zero. I mean, it could even be like a station or something for somebody, and it's a little big to be a station. But, I mean, take these pieces off of it, maybe take this piece out, now it's like a little shrine. You could say that your 
company is guarding the shrine or something. Be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, cool little set. Very nifty. What are these supposed to go further forward? I think that's why it's. Uh, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, yeah, they were supposed to go further forward. I don't know why I put them in the middle. Oh well. Now it works a little bit better. Cool. All right. So, yeah. Cute set. Awesome pieces. Glad I picked it up. Not sure if it's piece per price margin makes sense. Uh, anyone who plays Mobile Frame Zero would kind of know what that means, but basically, uh, it's a price point. I think I got this guy for like five, maybe six dollars. He's only got 58 pieces, so he's not great. But the cool gimmicky pieces he comes with are why I bought him, and I do not regret spending the money on him. So, uh, this has been Calm Agro. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.